Hey, how's it going guys? This is Sam here at CustomPCReview.com here with another video unboxing for you guys. And today we've got a brand new product from the guys over at Creative. Now this is the Sound Blaster Axe. Uh, okay, it's not the Axe Axe 200. It's just the Creative Sound Blaster Axe 200. And um, it's basically a second generation version of the Creative Sound Blaster Axe SBX series. So I believe there was an SBX5 uh, there was an SBX-10 and then an SBX-20. And uh, all three of those products pretty much just looked like this. And it was just basically a tower. It had uh, speakers in it. Um, and the number of speakers obviously depended on uh, how big of a speaker you got. Um, it had Bluetooth and it had the uh, SBX-1 processor, which uh, most of you guys probably know it as the Soundcore 3D processor, which uh, they use in most of their their uh, gaming, um, you know, sound cards and, and things like that. And you know, motherboard manufacturers have implemented the same uh, chip into their motherboard um, audio chipsets. But basically, um, it, it was just a very nice, uh, you know, fully integrated speaker microphone system. You can use it as a speaker, you know, a speaker phone. It had audio processing capabilities that you know, reduces noise and, and all this stuff. So uh, it was, you know, overall a very cool uh, product. Um, there were a couple, you know, things I did, I wish that it did have. And uh, it looks like in the new Axe 200, it, you know, a lot of these feature requests, I guess, uh, had been, has been addressed. So um, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the features here. They've added a ton of features to this. This just, it, it's, amazing to me how many features that this thing has but uh, you've got a super microphone which kind of looks like you can uh, blast your voice apparently uh, change your voice to different crazy characters um, like I said there is a audio processor in here which allows it to do that uh, in real time uh, you got uh, impressively loud siren apparently um, looks like they've built in a micro SD card to this uh, version as well and uh, the SBX series, um, you know, SBX 10, 5, and 20 did not have the uh, micro SD card capability. Um, looks like you've got that, uh, that micro SD card can play um, uh, MP3 and, uh, and WMAs off of it, um, you know, straight as a standalone device, which is cool. You got an integrated voice recorder as well that records directly to the micro SD card. Uh, with this one, you actually get a quad microphone array. So I don't quite remember uh, if the last version had a quad microphone array or a dual microphone array, but on this one, you definitely have a quad microphone array. And um, this should give you great uh, 360 degree all around recording uh, voice pickup. Gives you uh, HD voice and uh, uh, focus voice pickup with reduction of interference. Uh, looks like it also has NFC, so you have a, if you have an NFC-enabled device, you can go ahead and hook that up, and, and it'll automatically pair your phone with this, um, with uh, the Axe 200. Uh, you got a dual-purpose battery with 15 hours of audio playback, and you can also go ahead and charge your phone. Uh, maybe in the specs, we'll see how many milliamp hours the battery is, but. I'm thinking it should be at least, you know, three to 4,000 milliamp hours if it really wants to do some serious charging for your phone. You've also got superior amplified output for amazingly loud and clear audio. And that is something that we actually saw with the SBX-10 and the SBX-20 series um, where they used a, uh, some specialized circuitry that, that really was, was able to allow it to play very, very um, you know, powerful audio off of very, very little power. So um, over here, let's see what they have. Uh, uh, Sound Blaster. Okay, so this is like kind of a, a marketing thing. So you guys can take a look at that if you're interested. And this is written by the uh, CEO of Creative Technology. Creative actually does a lot of cool stuff. You know, they're, they're actually very good with with sound uh, electronics and, and things like that. And, and I, I was really impressed with the, the last acts, although you know there were a couple shortcomings in there. But anyway, you've got um, <clears throat> the typical panel up here, which is a capacitive touchscreen kind of thing, 
or you can adjust the volume of this. You can uh, turn on a couple features. They have voice focus, noise reduction, um, SBX Pro Studio, speaker mute, mic mute, call button. And basically a lot of this, you know, it just allows you to go ahead and touch the device on the fly in order to adjust these settings. And, and you'll see a little later when I go ahead and hook this thing up. Um, on top of capacitive touch controls, looks like they have a lot more features on the unit itself, which actually didn't exist with the uh, SBX uh, 10, 20, 10 and the, the 20 series. Um, looks like you got NFC, uh, power, Bluetooth button right there, play pause, uh, voice playback, shuffle, megaphone. Um, not going to go through all of this. You guys can take a look at it. And uh, we'll kind of, you know, walk through this when we actually open the product itself. Uh, once again, you do have all of the features that come with the SBX1 sound processor. And it's very similar to what you would get with the Soundcore 3E processor. So if you guys are familiar with that, um, you know, tons of audio processing capability. And with this, you do get a couple extra features like the megaphone. Um, and uh, looks like you get a quad microphone array and, th and things like that. So if you guys are interested, go ahead and read that, you know, hit the pause button. We're not gonna go over it. And down here, again, tons of features. I would probably be able to spend like 20 minutes on just this box alone, but we're gonna go ahead and open the box and see what's inside. Oh, before I do that, we also got a docking base as well. Um, it looks like this, you know, you can just go ahead and drop it on the docking base and it charges the device for you um, right there. So um, yeah, we'll go ahead and open that up. Um, after we check out the actual unit itself there. So go ahead and open this up and let's see how this works. All right, so make that incision, very precise incision right there. And uh, go ahead and dump this all out. So not a very, very big device. Uh, definitely not as big as the SBX10 um, or SBX20, I mean, so got some uh, instructions in here, which you should probably check out because this is a pretty, um, pretty feature filled device. There is also a little readme um, that just says, talks about the super megaphone. Um, could be a very useful device. I mean, if you think about it, if you're out like on a, a camping trip or something, go ahead and bring one of these. You got 15 hours of of uh, audio playback and, and all that good stuff. So um, included in the box here, we get a couple accessories that uh, we'll go ahead and pull out. Got a adapter here, but it does connect via USB. And it looks like it's a, um, it's probably a, a one amp connector, maybe a two amp, I'm not sure. But uh, got a USB connector there to uh, your AC outlet got an actual USB cable and uh, looks like it's it's probably going to be a mini to my or a regular USB to a micro USB so yeah it's a USB to micro USB so we'll go ahead and set that aside um, and that seems to be everything in here we also have a uh, drawstring pouch right here and uh, you would go ahead and be able to stick this uh, stick your axe unit into this pouch for carrying. Obviously not the uh, highest quality pouch, you know, you can get off of any sort of speaker, but this wasn't included in the last version. So, um, and you know, any freebies are, are definitely uh, great in my book. So we'll go ahead and uh, pull out the speaker itself uh, or the Axe 200. Looks like there's probably gonna be an Axe 100 because I see Axe 100 over here. So um, there's probably gonna be another version, but overall, I mean, this is not a very big unit. This uh, actually kind of reminds me of the uh, Sound Blaster Axe 100 or SBX 10, um, you know, at, at least in size. So um, I wouldn't expect, you know, the, the craziest, loudest uh, audio playing capabilities, but um, it should be decently loud, you know, to at least to fill uh, maybe a room, like your, your personal room or anything like that, but uh, definitely not like super loud environments. So we'll go ahead and pull that off right there, and uh, we can take a look at the device itself. Um, hmm, I think it's kind of difficult to actually take a look at it without this thing lighting up. So 
Let me see if we could go ahead and turn it on uh, right here. Okay, go ahead and turn it on. So we can see that uh, the capacitive touch panel here is lighting up uh, very nicely. We can you know, adjust the volume and all that good stuff. Um, over here is the speaker. It's, they've kind of changed a little bit with the SBX, uh, you know, 10 and 20 series and five, I guess the five. Um, it was all black with a cloth grill over here, but it looks like they've changed that. They removed the cloth and just went with a uh, kind of a, you know, plastic grill right here. Uh, still looks very good. Entire unit is constructed uh, in white and uh, feels very, you know, feels fairly decent, uh, decently heavy duty. So um, let's see here, we've got all the functions that, as you can see, are capacitive right there. And uh, in the back, let's take a look at some of the buttons there. So we've got the NFC pairing, uh, you know, area. So you would take an NFC uh, enabled phone, go ahead and stick it on there to automatically Bluetooth pair it. Um, of course, you can also go ahead and hit the power button here to pair it via Bluetooth as well. Um, speaking of which, the power button's right there. We've got a play pause button. Looks like we got a back uh, and forward uh, tracks button right here. Got a voice recorder, so go ahead and you know you can hit the record button and you can hit the play button again. Very very simple actually. Um, you know design very easy uh, to understand. We've got the mic you know on mic mute but uh, switch right here. We've got um, repeat and uh, looks like shuffle maybe um, audio right there, and uh, also the megaphone function, which I'm guessing you can just go ahead and hit that, and then it should amplify your voice or something like that. So um, there's also a port back here, a very small port, and this is for additional bass response. Um, we have the micro SD card slot as well, which you can uh, use that for storing audio files and uh, you can also use it for recording your voice. Uh, we've got a 5 volt 1 amp um, USB uh, DC out right here, so that's for charging your phone. Um, we also have a headphone, microphone port, as well as a USB in, uh, which is for charging the actual device itself. Um, other than that, I don't, I don't think this thing actually comes off down here. So um, this is the unit right here. I mean, very small, very, very compact, great traveling companion. We'll go ahead and open up the docking base and check out what's inside. Uh, after that, uh, we'll probably go ahead and um, hook up the phone to it and then we'll um, Maybe play some songs. Hopefully, YouTube doesn't flag me for, for uh, you know, playing copyrighted content or anything like that. Um, so included in the packaging here, we've got some documentation for the docking base. Um, should be fairly self-explanatory. I mean, I can't see why a docking base would be too complicated. But um, we've got a USB cable right here. It's like a USB to uh, micro USB cable right there. So that's that. Also got a ton of adapters. So I know um, Creative is a Singapore company, I believe. So we've got, you know, definitely um, got a ton of adapters in here. We've got, you know, everything from these kind of plugs to these kind of plugs. Um, but for us, we're pretty much just going to use this one. So these are all pretty much useless for us. Um, and of course, we also have the docking base itself, uh, which we can go ahead and pull out there. Looks like it kind of just allows your speaker to sit on top like that. And uh, that should allow it to charge. Um, so there's that right there. Go ahead and sit that on there. And um, I'm not sure if this thing goes underneath, but looks like that's about it. So we'll go ahead and um, I'll probably pull out a phone or something, and then we're, we're going to go ahead and pair this device up to the phone, uh, check out some of the functionality of this, and uh, we'll be back in a sec. All right, guys. So 
Um, went ahead and hooked up my iPhone to this. But uh, before I actually get into that part, um, just wanted to show you guys how this thing actually hooks up to the base right there. So um, basically there's a little patch that you remove right there. Uh, tells you the firmware and all that stuff that's included on this, I guess. And you can go ahead and just stick it on there. So um, you do have to remove that uh, little piece in order for it to uh, fit snugly on. And of course, it does need to touch those contacts in order to uh, charge. Um, I'm not sure if that this piece actually needs to be on there all the time. But uh, if, you if you are, you know, traveling around with this and, you know, um, dust and things can get on this and, uh, you know, kind of mess up the connectors, then uh, you definitely want to keep this thing on. All right, so um, that said, that was the charger right there. So we'll go ahead and move that to the side. Uh, that said, we'll check out some of the uh, iPhone, um, some of the features of this unit once it's connected to the phone. So um, as usual, or uh, similar to um, the SBX20, SBX10, uh, the, the older generation of this at least, um, you can interface this with an app uh, that's on the iPhone. I believe it's on Android as well. And uh, we can adjust a lot of the settings uh, that are on this uh, device. So um, as you can see right here, it's we've got the profile settings, which changes the, the uh, audio profiles on here. So you can get warm sound, you can get the default. Um, you can go with the smart volume, which adjusts the volume so that um, if you're watching a movie or something like that, it doesn't all of a sudden you know, blow up in your face, um, you know, super loud explosion followed by, um, you know, somebody talking to you on VoIP or something. It tries to even out the audio. Um, movies, you know, dy dynamic sound, night mode, which uh, increases, you know, uh, kind of decreases the sound of really loud, really bassy, um, you know, sounds. Um, gaming, you know, you've got your gaming options as well down here. Um, so go ahead and go back. I believe you can also change um, the specific settings for this as well. Um, so if you select that, I don't know if you can or not, but um, I thought I remembered you can, but I guess you can. Or wait, if you go to edit. So if you go to edit, yeah, you can definitely change uh, the settings right here for the unit itself. And uh, if you guys have ever used, um, you know, any of Creative's software, or if you have a Creative Sound Card, I mean, the settings are exactly the same uh, in here as a Creative Sound Card. I believe there should be another page to this. So you also get an equalizer as well, so you can, uh, you know, change the sliders on that. And um, you get a reset for resetting if you screw up on your settings and you like the original ones. And you can go ahead and change that for all the profiles. You also have Crystal Voice. Um, so you can do, you know, voice focus, you can do um, a clear voice call, and it tells you what it does. So it maintains the loudness of your voice, regardless of your proximity to the microphone. So it'll go ahead, increase and decrease uh, the volume as you walk around the room, um, you know, while you're on the phone. Voice focus uh, creates an acoustic beam around you that suppresses all outside noise. And voice effects, obviously, uh, if you guys have ever played with creative products, you can go ahead and, you know, change your voice. And uh, at least with the axe, it's all done on the fly using the sound core, uh, or not the sound core, the uh, axe one, SPX axe one or something, uh, processor, which is basically a sound core 3D processor. Um, let's see, you can also go ahead and adjust the specific settings in here. So you've got acoustic echo cancellation, noise cancellation, voice focus, voice effects, and things like that in there. So uh, you pretty much have all your, you know, standard basic uh, features that you would get with the um, Axe, uh, the original Axe, uh, you know, processing. Uh, over here, you also have a battery indicator as well as, you know, if you guys remember, uh, this thing is battery, op you know, battery powered, whereas the older versions were not battery powered. Um, and you also get a remote, which you can go ahead and uh, actually play, you know, hit the play pause button. You can do recording um, on this play pause, as in play the music on the, uh, that's on the SD card in here. Um, you can also adjust the volume. 
by just simply touching that and it works just as if you were touching this as well. Um, you can go ahead and enable, uh, you know, voice focus. You can uh, mute the microphone and uh, things like that. Um, let's see, settings, you probably don't get much. I don't remember you get much. So auto connection, welcome message uh, if you want that. And um, that's pretty much it. You can use this as an alarm clock. So it does have that function in the app itself. Uh, if you want to play some music, you can go ahead and do that as well. So we'll see if we can play a small clip of music. Uh, hopefully YouTube won't flag us for it if we do. So we'll go ahead and play that. So overall, I mean, very decent uh, music quality, especially for something, you know, that's in this kind of form factor, battery powered, um, you know, portable, ready to go. It's great if, you know, you're traveling and you needed something um, other than your laptop for, you know, music, audio, and at the same time you needed, you know, uh, VoIP capability uh, and, and things like that. So, um, Let's see, what else did I kind of want to talk about? Um, that's pretty much it. Did test out the uh, speakerphone ability. So you can hear once I, well, I don't, I don't know if you can hear on, on uh, the microphone, but basically once you turn on the speakerphone uh, capability, you talk into this area back here, and then it would actually amplify uh, your voice using the uh, speakers on board and you know all the internal circuitry. Um, other than that, uh, it'll charge your cell phone up here, and um, I think that's that's about it for kind of my basic overview. Um, go ahead and test this um, more thoroughly in a written review, uh, which will be up in the next couple days. So definitely check uh, on that. It'll be in the description box below for all you guys. Um, so you know, definitely come back and uh, you know look for that written review if you guys are interested. Um, in that. Otherwise, if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Um, if you guys like videos like this, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Uh, don't forget to follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash custom PC review. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash custom PC review. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.